Oh, yes. I remember. Carlotta. The beautiful Carlotta. The sad Carlotta. Well, what does an old wooden house at the corner of Eddie and Gough Street have to do with Carlotta Valdez? Oh, it was hers. It was built for her many years ago. By whom? By, uh... By, uh... <laughs> no. The name I do not remember. A rich man, a powerful man. Cigarette? No. Cigarette, miss? No, thanks. It is not an unusual story. She came from somewhere small to the south of the city. Some say from a mission settlement. Young, yes, very young. And she was found dancing and singing in cabaret by that man. And he took her and built for her the great house in the Western addition. And uh, there, was a, there was a child. Yes, that's it, the child, the child. I cannot tell you exactly how much time passed or how much happiness there was, but then he threw her away. He had no other children. His wife had no children. So he kept the child and threw her away. You know, men could do that in those days. They had the power and the freedom and she became the sad Carlotta, alone in the great house, walking the streets alone, her clothes becoming old and patched and dirty. And the mad Carlotta, stopping people in the street to ask, where is my child? Have you seen my child? Poor thing. And she died? She died. How? By her own hand. <laughs> there are many such stories. Well, thank you very much. You are welcome. Appreciate it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, wait a minute. Goodbye, Pop. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Johnny-o, pay me. For what? Well, for bringing you here. Come on, tell. <laughs> nothing to tell. You'll tell or you'll be back in that corset. Oh, come on, Johnny, come on, come please. On. Take you home. 